question. How much snow are we getting? Well, from this morning and for the whole system here, an overall still one to four inches of snow. I would expect higher amounts as we go to the Turtle Mountains in, in, even by the Pemina River Gorge. So know where you are in the map. That's what you can expect. If you don't know where you're at in the map, but you know the bigger city you are located, here's what you can expect. One to three inches in Bismarck, one to two in Williston, Jamestown, two to three, Fort Yates, one to two, Harvey, two to four inches. Then we go to the, the Botno region, Lake Minigoshi at three to six. Now, all of this too will be blown around. It will be causing low visibility as we're already seeing in many areas in the northwest. But where the visibility is still good is actually in Bismarck. But I'm starting to see the changeover now from that rain to the snow slowly taking over. Uh, same thing in the Grant County area again, uh, because the ra radar beam is a little bit higher. Uh, it's not seeing that melting necessarily. So we're starting to see that snow though filter in and that rain snow line continue to sag southward because of the cooler air pushing in. So as a result here, Here's the center of the clipper system over by International Falls, Minnesota, but the tightened pressure gradients are taking over. And so that is the 50 to 55 mile per hour wind gusts that will be moving in. In fact, Williston already maxed out that high. But as far as the wind speeds go right now, we're seeing them anywhere from 17 miles per hour in Bismarck to 30 in Williston. But when we bring up the gusts now, we're definitely upwards around 40 to near 50 at this moment. So those winds are going to keep increasing. We go to that darker scene right now in Lake Metagoshi. That snow's coming down again about three to six inches for you. Uh, here's Minot. You can see some flakes falling, but the roads here look OK. But again, it's once you get into the rural areas at this point, we're going to see that lack of the visibility out there. Uh, here's Bismarck too. Every once in a while, you could see that changing. But as we continue to map this out, well, eventually we're still going to clear out in Williston, but it's that snow that's on the ground now that will keep blowing around. But that heavy snow band still moves through even come the evening hours here. So this is where that one to four will come play, uh, come through. I had a report around Noonan, which is in the northwest around six o'clock this morning of three inches on the ground. So we're going to keep the snow going all the way through about midnight. But overnight tonight, it's still gusty to 50 to 55 miles per hour, even come tomorrow morning. It's cleanup mode, and I still think a little dicey out there on those roadways because here's the winds. Once we go to 2 o'clock this afternoon, 30 to 40 miles per hour, even stretching towards 50. 7 o'clock this evening, the higher winds are now along the, I, uh, the um, Highway 83 corridor, not so much along Highway 85, but still blustery if you are headed out tomorrow. I would definitely use more caution as you're going off towards the eastern half of the state. So when we put everything here together, though, again, your evening commute is going to be a little bit more on the riskier side for this afternoon and evening than it was this morning. Uh, even come tomorrow morning, Krista, when it's cleanup mode. Winter weather advisory is in effect all the way through Saturday, uh, even for 3 o'clock by the uh, Devil's Lake region tomorrow, too. So be careful. Yeah, it's hard to remember that two days ago it was mid-60s here. So. Rec yep, record-breaking high.